Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are doing the final Bath and Body Works empties video here in my home at my parents' house in Arizona. From here on now, everything is going to be in my new place on the East Coast in a different state. Um, so yeah, because getting settled is going to take a little bit. You're going to see a lot of the same outfits. A lot of the same themed video of like getting rid of like things because that's my life right now okay <laughs> anyways um without further ado let's go ahead and talk about the last couple of things i've finished up slash i'm gonna finish up um before i leave literally tomorrow although you've probably seen a couple videos of me filming the same day saying tomorrow which tomorrow probably already happened i'll be probably already in a different state setting up but i didn't want to leave you guys hanging and um mass pre-recording content for you guys so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the honorable mentions that are not here that i did finish um in san diego i just didn't bring back the trash with me so the first things first is the strawberry pound cake shower gel and i actually also have the lotion in here nope not that one the lotion in here um i personally love strawberry uh, pound cake this was my last duo that I had I'm sure because it's been a hit Bath and Body Works is gonna keep bringing them back it's such a delicious fragrance it is fresh strawberries golden shortcake whipped cream I still have a candle but the candle is gonna stay here because I don't really want to travel with candles and they're all like sweet and girly candles and it's not my fiance's vibe at all um, so we probably won't have very like these type of fragrances but i'm definitely still gonna enjoy them in the body care because that's my own thing that is what i smell like not something that like we are burning in the apartment so the apartment can smell like that so i did love this i'm gonna miss it very much but it's gonna be around for a while and bath and body works will always come out with like sugary bakery scents just like this so strawberry pancake shower gel and the lotion then I also finished up the Fiji Sunshine Guambatini body cream. Smells absolutely delicious. Ugh. It was so nice to smell like that. It reminds me of summer. I have like, their Hawaiian line, their like standout products in my opinion are currently Fiji. I don't know if they brought it back this year. I have not kept up with their collections at all just because I haven't really been purchasing much with this move coming up slash happening and um yeah i have no idea but i know that with the exception of like two slash three fragrances everything else in the hawaii collection always seems to alternate but fiji is something that they did right um definitely look out for it i know the semi nail sale like just happened slash might be happening i'm not sure again i wasn't really keeping up with it because i'm not trying to tempt myself and be depressed that i can't purchase stuff slash you know my money should go like i rather ship my clothes like ship boxes or like purchase new household items than like spend a hundred dollars on the semi-annual sale when i still have quite a bit of product and they're not even all coming with me so yeah trying not to be too upset about missing out this year plus the winters tend to be my favorite sas because of the winter candy apple situation so i do love fiji wabatini if i ever see it again i will pick it up because it's delicious it's something that is something i tend to gravitate more like in the summer it just reminds me of like summer vacation and it's a good it's a good memory association that i have with it okay now let's go ahead and talk about everything that i do physically have here it's not going to be one of my biggest bath and body works empties because i just posted one like semi recently and i haven't been like back that long to like use up more products but i do have i do have quite a bit of things all right <laughs> So, like you guys saw earlier, I have the Hello Beautiful Shower Gel. I have to say, I only use this, like, a few times as shower gel. It used to be, like, up to here, but I've actually been filling up, like, uh, foam soap containers. So, it's what we have in the kitchen right now and what is in my mom's bathroom. So, we have a bunch of, like, the foaming version of the hand soaps. It is our favorite one to use. Um, it's just more fun, and then I feel like 
the other version of the soap just like drips and it creates mess and the foaming hand soap doesn't do that and because we have so many foaming hand soap containers and I'm not a fan of Hello Beautiful in the shower gel I do really like it in the body lotion and the candle when they used to have it I don't know if they still have it or if it's like an online exclusive so I just decided to use it as hand soap right now like why not it's just like a generic like shower gel anyways and, and that's just my opinion in regards to Hello Beautiful so yeah, everyone's using it and it got, you know, it's another thing out that I don't have to worry about. My parents are very sad that I'm leaving because I was the one that like supplied this soap everywhere. So they're just like, make sure you send us like when there's deals on hand soaps at Bath and Body Works. So <laughs> honestly, foaming hand soap is a little bit of a luxury, not gonna lie. Um, especially the ones that have like a lot of scents and stuff. So I think they just don't want to go back to like generic normal hand soap. Which is just so funny to me, like, just to think that, like, wow, we're so, like, used to, like, foaming and amazing scents that they're just, like, we don't want to go back to normal hand soap. <laughs> they can still buy fun ones, but it's not like them. That's why, like, I was the one that, like, made, like, the simple things, like, fun. So, I think they're going to miss that. But, yeah, Hello Beautiful. Use that up one way or another. What I am still currently using in the shower though is Waikiki Beach Coconut. I'm obviously not going to finish this because I only have like one shower left before I leave and that's quite a bit and I'm not going to waste that much but my brother would probably end up finishing this up. Um, and I love Waikiki Beach Coconut. That's the other good staple Hawaii Bath and Body Works scents that they always have. Um, the scents are Beach Coconut, Pink Passion Flowers, Salt water breeze, fresh bamboo, blah 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 blah. As I was reading it, I'm like, really? That's what it smells like? Ugh, it smells good. I have a full size or a full travel size version of it that I'm kind of gonna be living off of until we settle into the new apartment. Um, I do have like another full size shower gel. I need to pack more shower gel because it's not gonna last. One full size is not gonna last that long, so I need to pack a little bit more. But I, I won't be bringing this along. It's just gonna stay here. I'd rather bring a full sized one or like a full, full sized one than like a half empty one just to say that I finished another one. But I practically did finish it because I did use it like basically beginning to almost end and then I'm just not gonna be the one that's like end end but I still thought it was nice to like kind of include in this video because I still used up most of it I've used I mean I'm sure all of you guys know what Waikiki Beach coconut smells like and if you don't if you like coconut it's another summer staple for me speaking of winter candy apple I have a couple of items these are almost done and I'm for sure gonna finish them so that's why I'm including them I have the winter candy apple hand cream and there's really it's just like down to here and I use so much hand lotion like throughout the day because first of all like hello I live in a desert right now so every time I wash my hands it's so dry um, I feel like I do the dishes a lot I feel like that's like my one like chore so um, I use a lot of hand lotion after that. I have to go to the bathroom a lot because she's hydrated, so I wash my hands. So, I know I'm gonna finish it. I, I can go through so much hand cream. It's not even funny. So I know this is gonna be done, because like I said, there's only like a third left, and I can easily use that. And then the other winter candy apple item, I also have only one use left. This is the Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion. I have to use so much to feel like remotely hydrated, and then there's glitter everywhere. Safe to say that I'm not gonna buy another Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion. They come out with it like every Christmas, and I was just kind of like intrigued by it because it was 75% off. Um, and 75% off 1650 is still like quite on the more pricier side for the semi-annual sale. That's when it's even 75% off. But I think the Shimmer Fizz is something that always ends up going 75% off. I think everything else that like they come out with like as a collection it tends to say 50% off for like a couple days. But um, yeah, definitely steer away from this. It's just Glitter City um, and not moisturizing at all. But because you have to use so much of it to kind of feel like remotely moisturized, I can say that I could probably finish this up after my one shower. And it leaves glitter everywhere, so be warned because they're not kidding. They're not kidding. But it smells like winter candy apples, so I can't complain. And if you don't know, winter candy apples is my all-time 
my all-time favorite Bath and Body Works scent. I just had coffee and I can definitely feel like the kicking in. But it might also be that I want to like get through this so I can get back to packing. Um, because I, I have to do that. Speaking of the normal hand soaps, I also have the Fresh Lemonade Gentle Hand Foaming Hand Soap. We have gone through this scent quite a bit in this house. I want to say this is like the fourth or fifth bottle we have used of this scent. It is a fan favorite. It has been in the kitchen. It has been in the bathroom, mostly in the kitchen. And I think it's going to be dearly missed. I think I'm going to keep this bottle around though, just for like the normal hand soaps. Because, like I said, we have a ton of the foaming ones sitting around, but we don't have many of these. And I might just fill it up with, like, another shower gel that I'm not too crazy about that I don't want to really bring with me eventually. So, I might just fill it up so that way they have, like, another soap on backup. That still smells good. They don't have to know it's body wash. It's all the same. It's body soap, hand soap. It still smells good. <laughs> so... Yeah, I definitely recommend this scent for like, it's just good. It's good for everyone. It smells like freshly squeezed lemonade. Exactly how it says it's, it is. Okay, I have two little tiny beepy bopper items. I have the pumpkin cupcake hand cream. I bought a bunch of hand creams at this last winter semi-annual sale because they were all 75% off. And it was like $1.50, $1.75, which is the only time I think that these are worth it because they want $6.50 for one ounce of hand cream. No. No, thank you. Not worth it. Um, but pumpkin cupcake is one that like sometimes I love and sometimes I'm like, ugh. I don't know, it just kind of depends on the formulation and the item. In the hand cream, it's tolerable. Sometimes I like it in the candle. I know that they've tried to do like body care once upon a time and I didn't really like that. Um, but I do really like the hand cream. It does smell like the Panera pumpkin muffins to me. Anybody else? Anybody else know what I'm talking about? Give this video a thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about. Pumpkin cupcake, it smells good. Um, depending on the fragrance that year and like the item I probably would repurchase eventually um I don't know if this is I don't think this is something Josh would love because from here on out when I buy like things for around the house he's very picky when it comes to like sweet scents the rest of my family loves sweet scents here so like they can tolerate a lot of things like my brother likes sweet scents like he loves for example strawberry pound cake he loves it and he doesn't mind like hand soap he doesn't mind like sometimes using this shower gel same with everyone else but my i keep wanting to say boyfriend because when he's boyfriend for five and a half years and now like you have to change it to like fiance it's weird it's a weird like getting used to it um even though I'm not wearing my ring today because I'm just like doing a lot and I'm still babying it so I don't really like want to wear it if I'm just like around the house like going through stuff if that makes sense anyways I don't think he would like this so it's like I would purchase it like in another hand cream maybe but I don't think I could get away with it and like anything else that like would affect him because I know he doesn't like sweet stuff like this hmm isn't that sad that like a lot of the things that I love are gonna like be modified like scent wise because now there's like another person and I don't know why that idea just dawned on me right now but um yeah there's that <laughs> and then I have the travel size version of the Mary Cookie body cream this is the one that I used I think last empties I had my mom's version this one was even like sometimes too much for me. Um, I would mostly wear it at work when we still had the masks on. Um, Cause we don't have, like if you're vaccinated, you don't really have to wear masks. And like people here in Arizona don't really have to wear masks anymore. And like I, even with the masks, when we were still, I was petrified that people would be able to like smell it and they could smell it and like I think like one or two times I got like a compliment of like people who actually like it but it made me like think the rest of the time like oh my god how many other people can smell it and they don't like it and they're just not saying anything so I don't I don't know I've had a couple of Mary cookies and I think again it's not like my favorite but it tends to be something that's left over a lot for like 75% off and that's why I end up picking it up because I you know I like it it's not my favorite but it's not like Oh my god, I'm dying over it. And for the 75% off, like, I'll take it. But now that, like, with another person who I know would not like it, it's going to be another change. 
another change a realization of realizations is going on here and I don't know if that makes any sense but that was basically the last item let me know something that you're sad you finished up that you can't get anymore recently in the comments down below mine would have to be strawberry shortcake because I can't really get it right now I don't think it's out I'm not sure don't tell me I don't want to know or you could tell me but I will try to read your comment with like a mind of like I don't need it thank you thank you very much um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great rest of your day no matter where you are and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!